<laughs> Nigga, if Africa was that close. <laughs> now you get what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> Nigga, that first whip. <laughs> get the children, we are walking home. <laughs> get the children, woman, we're getting out of this motherfucker. <laughs> Who do you think you are hitting me, you son of a bitch? <laughs> I do not work for free, you motherfucker. <laughs> My name is not Tyrone, it is not motherfucking Leroy. It is Shaka! <laughs> Fuck you, get a woman. Children, let's go. We are walking out this bitch. <laughs> It'd be a mass exodus. <laughs> and then white people, you would finally have your dream. And all white America, Confederate flags everywhere. Not a nigga in sight. This country wouldn't be shit. There would be no open brain surgery. We did that. There would be no open heart surgery. We did that. There would be no street lights. That's why they red, yellow, and green. Jamaican flag, nigga. <laughs> if somebody white did it, it'd be red, white, and blue. You go on the blue. <laughs> Music wouldn't be shit. There would be no blues for a part progression. There would be no rock and roll. We created that motherfucking extension of the blues. That's right, white folks, we taking our shit back. <laughs> you better go to Chuck Berry grade and find out who did this shit. <laughs> there would be no R&B, there would be no funk, there would be no jazz, there would be no bebop turning into hip hop nonstop, motherfucker going around the clock, nigga, <laughs> until you drop. <laughs> there would be no gospel worth listening to. <laughs> <laughs> All that be left, nigga, is twang, twang. <laughs> twang, twang. <laughs> twang, twang. <laughs> she ran on with Petey, my favorite dog. I don't know where four-legged fuckers go. <laughs> nigga, suicide rate would go up 2,000%. <laughs> the, the national anthem would not be worth listening to. Nigga, when, whenever we sing it, nigga, Whitney sung it so well, God rest that sister's soul. When Sister Whitney sung it, nigga, she sung it so well, it made a nigga feel like they really wanted us in this country. <laughs> you understand me? At the beginning of the baseball game, Whitney get to hitting that motherfucker. Oh, Jose. Can you see? I see. By the dawn, early in the morning. Light, light it up, light it up. <laughs> nigga, you lead a baseball game all hype. Nigga, America, nigga, it's your shit, nigga. Police pull you <laughs> Fuck this motherfucking country. Fuck that goddamn song, too. <laughs> Y'all would never win another Summer Olympics, white folks. I'm sorry. Scott, Bob, Jill, <laughs> Sally. <laughs> no more gold in the summer. <laughs> I don't even know why white folks show up to the Summer Olympics. You're not gonna beat a nigga in the heat. <laughs> we from the hottest continent on earth, <laughs> Africa, originally known as the Cuba Line. You're not gonna beat a nigga in the heat, man. You understand me? Why do you show up for a foot race against black people? <laughs> do you really think you can beat us running? <laughs> we got too much practice, nigga. <laughs> we run from our pants. Put it down, nigga. Told you when we get to the store, you don't pick up a motherfucking thing. <laughs> we run from gangs. Come here, nigga, where my shit at? I don't know, cuz. <laughs> 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 we run from the police. Uh, what do you got? Uh, uh, lollipop? Oh, goddamn. <laughs> you see police helicopters can't catch niggas. You watch that shit first 48 nigga. Helicopter, we lost him again. Oh, the nigga jumped over two houses and made a left. <laughs> you know that race they got, nigga? It's uh, the 100 meter dash, nigga. And it's always 27 niggas from 27 nigger countries. <laughs> One white dude. 
And you can see on his face when he getting into blocks. Oh, oh. I'm gonna be looking at a lot of nigger ass in a minute. Get it, cause they in front of them. You know? <laughs> the one race that white people think they can beat us in is the long distance race. You see them practicing out here at Boston at the marathon, New York. You know, what are you doing? I'm getting ready for the niggers. <laughs> oh, you gotta train. They're just, they just got natural ability. <laughs> train as you may, white folks. You not gonna beat them three Ethiopians. <laughs> Regular niggas from America can't beat them motherfuckers. <laughs> Them eggheads always come in first, second, third, nigga. You not fucking with the eggheads, nigga. They got them eggheads, body, skin and bones. They used to running for weeks, chasing gazelles for sustenance. <laughs> nigga, gazelles be falling down. <laughs> one of us are going to have to take one. You are the weak one, only the strong can survive. <laughs> no, they chased my cousin two weeks ago. They don't stop. They smile when they run. I can hear their teeth chattering in the distance. <laughs> and you know, how, you know how motherfuckers come across the line, nigga, <laughs> at the end of the race? They be tired, niggas. They ran for two days. <sighs> Let me get some water, some water. There's some fucking water. <laughs> Nigga, them Ethiopians come across the line. <laughs> you want some water? I never touch this stuff. <laughs> the blood of the gazelle is all the sustenance I need. <laughs> Who wants to run a gang? Nigga, y'all going to church this Sunday? I suggest everybody get y'all ass to church and get your money back. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, goddammit. If Joel Osteen didn't prove to you finally what I've been trying to tell you for 30 motherfucking years. It's a goddamn scam, man. God don't live in no church. Nowhere in the Bible, and I read it 17 times, nowhere in it does it say, build me a house on fifth and nowhere. <laughs> I only like stained glass windows. So I don't want nobody looking in on the hustle. I mean the truth. <laughs> I want hard wooden benches in there.
Help us, we 